Bay is on the verge of a major export deal, selling the great little trains of Wales to the United States. The Fairbourne and Barmouth narrow gauge steam railway has begun building replica locomotives at their tiny seaside workshop. And it's a move that seems to be putting their business back on the right track. Meet Loco number 24. It's this little train that looks set to turn around the fortunes of an ailing narrow gauge railway on the Mouthack estuary. The team on the Fairbourne and Barmouth line have spent the last three years and close on £200,000 building the magnificent engine. And today it took to the tracks for the first time. Well, the original engine was cut up in 1936 in Maine and the States. And uh, rail enthusiasts all over the world were so saddened by its loss, um, we decided to bring it back to life. It certainly has a look of its own and there are so few American engines running in this country, we thought to do something for America and something for Britain. Although the engine is a replica from the outside, we've used a lot of modern technology on the inside. And I'm very pleased to say that the first time we put a fire in it, uh, it went away like a Swiss watch, or should I say a Welsh one. For John Ellerton, who's also a world-class pop musician, the railway was something of an accidental acquisition. Uh, it, it closed in 1983. It was in a very run-down state. And, uh, my grandmother, my parents, and I'd ridden on this railway, I don't know how many times, and family being from close by. And uh, I came to this country in 83 to discover they'd closed. And I was somewhat surprised. Unfortunately, that day I was more than a little drunk as well. And I bought it. Um, having, uh, the, in the party I was in, the agent uh, selling the line happened to be there. And uh, I rather forgotten I'd bought it till the next morning. And they rang me up and said, are you really serious about buying the railway? And my, my reaction was, what railway? Since buying the railway seven years ago, John's completely refurbished it. And this year, in its centenary, it's been voted Britain's best narrow gauge railway by Railway World magazine. John's next project is a replica of a Russian steam train, the Borsig Mallet. What started out as little more than a glorified train set now looks set to become an international business venture. But John's hoping to export these Welsh-made engines all over the world. Centenary celebrations of the Fairbourne and Barmouth Railway by officially naming its latest locomotive.